Ah, I can feel it. Oof, that stings. Ah, oei. Ah, ouch. Ow. Oh my god. Nine minutes, people. Most of the pain, the sharp pain has gone. What's up everyone, what's up everyone, this is Bart Coppens, the world's sexiest entomologist with a pretty venomous caterpillar, can you see it? Now this caterpillar has spines and upon touch it will inject a potent venom into my veins. And I'm going to test it and see how much it hurts. Disclaimer, don't try this at home. If you don't know what you're doing, you can actually get killed. Some species of caterpillar are actually deadly. Now for my sources, this species here is not deadly. But you never know what happens. Everybody reacts differently to venom. And people who are allergic, for example, can go into anaphylactic shock and die. Therefore, always do this at your own risk. And do as I say, not as I do. It is stupid and silly to risk your health. Anyway. My name is Bart Coppens and I breed several species of caterpillars, including harmless ones, but also including very toxic ones like this one. And sometimes I am curious how potent is their venom? Well, today we are going to find out. This venomous caterpillar is from Mexico and the scientific name is Lemerodirphia lasiocampina. I know that's a whole name, it's from the silk moth or emperor moth family, the Saturnidae. And now Let's see, I'm going to take this wrist, my right wrist, my right wrist. I am left-handed, so it's best to use my right hand, so you can still use my left hand for very fun things that I won't mention on YouTube. No, that's too much. As soon as I press this guy against my skin, it's going to have some sort of effect. Ah, I can feel it. Oof, that stings. Ah, ooey, ah, ouch, ouch, ouch. That was it. Ooh. And now we wait for 10 minutes to see the effects. Five minutes. Oh man. My arm is starting to swell up and it's still burning. Most of the pain has vanished, but some of it still persists. God. I'm starting to think maybe this was a bad idea. I am doing this on YouTube because I'm a little bit crazy and don't have much to lose anyways, but seriously don't try this at home. In South America, for example, there are some species of caterpillars. If you touch them, they can actually give you blood clots and internal hemorrhages which can lead to organ failure and death. If you don't know what you are doing, please don't sting yourself with random caterpillars. Most of them will only give you harmless rashes or itching sensations, but you never know because a very tiny percentage of them can be pretty harmful. Okay, I study the species that I use on YouTube extensively, but don't emulate behavior. I will be your guinea pig today to show you the results of these venomous caterpillars, so you don't have to try this at home. <laughs> Dang, that's bad. Let's wait for this to get even worse while the venom is taking its effects, but I have your attention right now. And because of that there is something I want to say about caterpillars. I'm very passionate about insects, I'm very passionate about butterflies and moths. Of course online they get a lot of, well, they get a negative reputation because of things like these. People like to focus on the fact that some caterpillars can be harmful to crops, can be harmful to, I don't know, agriculture, but some of them can be venomous or trigger immune responses. Truth is that insects are some of the most important animals on our planet. They are at the very bottom of the food chain. Without caterpillars and moths, many species such as birds and small rodents wouldn't get any food. And these small birds and rodents also sustain bigger predators like owls, birds of prey, and all the way up the food chain to the, up to the apex predators. Insects pollinate the majority of our plants, the majority of our crops and I don't want insects to get hate online just because some people are looking at a creepy video of venomous caterpillars. Please keep in mind that humanity 
would be worse off without insects and the way we treat them nowadays and the little incentive that we need to eradicate them is absolutely ridiculous. Most caterpillars are harm harmless if you do not directly touch them and just keep your respectful distance from them. We should be happy that we still have species like this on planet Earth, even if some people don't like them because they're venomous. Trust me, without insects we would experience uh, devastating e ecological collapse. So just throwing that out there. Oh my god. Nine minutes people. Most of the pain, the sharp pain has gone but has been replaced by a re really weird warm throbbing sensation. Um, I'm not sure if this was a good idea. My god, these are some potent caterpillars. Because I am a little bit concerned sometimes when you show videos like this showing insect in a scary or negative light it's going to influence the public opinion negatively and that's not necessary. Insects are wonderful and complex creatures and we will need more of them if anything. They pollinate most of our food crops. They sustain the entire ecosystem, anything from large predators all the way to the first level herbivores. Really? Think about it. Insects are the primary food source for many fish, but uh, many birds, many reptiles, many other invertebrates, spiders. And without insects we wouldn't have many other animals as well. Hello everyone and thank you for watching this video. I'm glad that you joined us today. Now there's a chance that if you watch this video, you may think, oh wow, this guy is an absolute freak show. And you know what, you may be correct. but. I hope we didn't get off on the wrong foot. My name is Bart Coppens and I am an online entomologist. I make educational videos about butterflies and moths, which are animals that I really and truly care about. This was a bit of a scary video, stinging myself with dangerous caterpillars, but I want you to know that my channel has over a thousand educational and more wholesome videos about the biology of butterflies and moths. They are animals that I truly care about and I want to spread a message of conservation. And while it seems very impulsive to sting, sting yourself with venomous animals for online cloud, there is a plan behind it. I just really want to grab people's attention online and bring them to my channel. And my channel has a more strong conservationist message. If you like this video and you want to give me a second chance and you are new to my channel, Please consider checking out the rest of my videos. I promise you most of them aren't going to be as creepy or weird as this one. I truly care about butterflies and moths as animals and their conservation status. They are not doing well since many species are unfortunately declining due to human influence. I am an entomologist who studies them both in the wild and in captivity. And if you don't believe me, check out my channel for evidence of this fact. See ya guys.